What we're hoping is by expanding the transmission network um, that we're able to bring you know, economic power from a broader area to where customers are. We're also hoping that some of that spatial extent, that, that, that big distance between areas will mean that we get more consistent power overall. One wind turbine, yes, is intermittent. Uh, two turbines are less intermittent than one turbine when you connect them together. Three wind turbines are even less intermittent. If you take something that's completely intermittent like wind or solar or wave power and you interconnect it geographically, you turn something that's completely intermittent into something that's partially baseload power. And so it's not windy in Michigan Thumb. Maybe it is windy in Ohio. Maybe it is windy in Iowa. Um, if that's all connected together, then there's some advantages there. And it's the same thing with bringing solar power in as well. You don't get like just the sudden random spikes anymore when you interconnect to these wind farms. You get this smooth power output. So we would expect as we build more wind capacity over a broader area for the, the variability for the ups and downs to be smoothed out, that, that we do expect that. Wind tends to blow uh, in late in the afternoon to overnight. Um, it tends to be calmer in the morning through the day until it picks back up in the afternoon. That's the, the typical pattern uh, in the Midwest. And you know, solar obviously is kind of the opposite. It's not on it at night at all. But I think we combine wind, solar, and storage, and then we've got you know, real capability for consistent power by putting all that together.